We're going to cover four ways of getting in and out of a canoe. There are many ways to do it. Here's just four examples. The first one, tilt and scoop. Your rescuers will just tilt your canoe on its side. She'll come in and you just push down and scoop her right on into the boat. Um, you'll see Debbie doing this here. She's grabbed both thwarts. She can pull herself up. And if they push down, they can scoop her in. As low as that gunnel can be to the water, the easier it is to get in. Okay, real easy push, and then they scoop her in. The second one, feet in, arms in. So you go in between two canoes. You come up around. Debbie's going to put one foot in each canoe. She's going to put an arm in each canoe. And then she's just going to sort of pop right into the center. Um, you can grab the life jacket and make it easier on the person by if they don't have the arm strength to be able to pull themselves in. You can also grab their life jacket and yank them on in. Elisa is doing this not elegantly because what's happening is the boat's being moving apart a little bit. The third one, if you've already done a boat over boat rescue or a tea rescue, you can just grab their life jacket and yank them into the center of the canoe. With that tea out there, you've got a platform. And see, so Elise will just get into that platform. You can put one person in the canoe, two people in the canoe in this method. It works great. And then once they're in the boat, you just slide them back on into the water. Off she goes. And now for the final one, just a rescue strap. Just This is just regularly using a cam strap that we use, you know, for tying the boats on a car. Debbie just loops it over her thwart on her boat and puts it over uh, Elise's boat there. And then Elise will just adjust that strap to whatever length she needs. It's usually just about maybe a foot below the, the water line of the boat. She'll stand in that strap and then just step up. And she sees she'll straighten her leg. And come on, that strap's a little long, but gives you some examples. Thanks to Lynn, Debbie, and Elise for helping make this video. Have a great day.